Hey what's up everyone this is sort of from take care and welcome back to our channel and today i have the resurrection remix rom for redmi 4 or 4x code name santoni and uh, well uh, first of all currently the rom i'm currently in is the beta build and i'm on nougat on redmi 4 and if you don't know how to install that the link will be in the description box below or will be in the cards as well uh, well guys uh, first of all this rom that i'm gonna show you today is not at all recommended but i will still show you that for people who don't know how to install a rom though so uh, first of all switch off your device press for volume up plus power button you will go into this kind of uh, display press on recovery and press on the violet or red uh, violet or blue which one it is i can't i don't know and then you will be in the TWRP recovery. Now all this video, I mean, if you want, don't know how to install the TWRP recovery, all the videos are in the description. So please check it out. Now, first of all, you have to wipe out a lot of things. Those four things that I have mentioned in the video. I hope you have seen that Dalvi cache data and uh, well, those four things. Now I have the files right here. Now this thing requires a lot of files. First of all, the RR plus zip and uh, you have to flash it first. I'm again telling you guys, I won't be providing any kind of uh, link in the description for this ROM in particular. It's because the ROM is unstable as hell. So please bear with my uh, recommendation. Now there is a patch uh, for some fixes. So you have to flash it again. And uh, I did that. And afterwards when it's done, go back again and the fpc well a lot of people having the fpc fingerprint if you don't know how to uh, you know get to know about the fpc or goodix uh, use ida64 you will get that information my device having a fpc fingerprint scanner so i am installing the fpc fix now it's also doesn't work at all for goodix people i mean for people with goodix fingerprint on their redmi 4 it will work just fine but for people having fpc fingerprint you have to uh, flash this uh, fix now one thing I would love to mention is that uh, disable this stock recovery now if this window arrives just wipe to allow nothing uh, don't do this uh, don't do the uh, don't tap on the do not uh, desire do not allow or something like that just wipe it and it will uh, you know reflash the uh, recovery instead of the stock recovery I'm again telling you guys this ROM is not at all recommended I'm again telling you if you really want to download it do it at your own risk I won't be providing any link because I don't want you to, uh, you know, I don't want you to have a, you know, this kind, this kind of a ROM. It is really, really buggy. Buggy as hell is not stable. I probably believe it's in alpha phase, not even in beta. And more than that, runs on marshmallow. A lot of people aren't gonna like that either. Um, I hope you have seen that how to install a ROM. That's pretty basic for all the ROMs that we are gonna show up in this video and i believe uh, very soon i believe very soon i have no confirmation news as well i believe very soon that xiaomi will be providing us the kernel sources once that's done once that's released uh, we will get a lot of new roms now root access is there previously the rom is pre-rooted though uh, but still uh, i'm not gonna check it out one thing that happened is that when i started to uh, give this uh, phone my fingerprints uh, the phone and uh, the rom actually went into boot loop and I had to flash the fast boot ROM. So for FPC fingerprint scanners, I don't think you will be ever able to use, you know, what we say, the fingerprint scanner feature. The the, there are a lot of, uh, you know, you can see there are a lot of configurations like customizations. You can use them, but I, I will still say that with my kind of usage, uh, the ROM, uh, the only experience that I have caught is that the ROM is unstable. There are a lot of uh, customizations though. It's Redirection Remix, so yeah. You can easily get that. Still the enable navigation bar option. I just hate this feature. There is already navigation keys over there and they are taking up a lot of hell of a chin. So why again implement those features right in there? I really hate that. Again guys, I'm telling you I won't be making a Hindi video of Hindi edition of this video because uh, there is no point of making a video for a ROM that I don't I don't recommend any one of you to install. Uh, please bear with my views we are with my experience please and if you really want to do that uh, go to xda and you will get this rom don't worry but i won't be providing any link it's because it's too unstable but the, yeah the features are good it's feature rich obviously and the camera is also decent i haven't faced any issue with the camera but um, the camera on the redmi uh, 4 itself is good 
I mean it's really a decent camera regarding the price tag we get our phone and uh, for people in other countries it is named as Redmi 4X but the code name remains the same it's Santoni and uh, I will be coming up with more ROMs in future there are other ROM reviews regarding Redmi 4 or Redmi 4X in our channel make sure to check that well the details are not that great but it is decent though uh, regarding the price tag and the uh, the ROMs condition as it is in an alpha phase I can't ask for more um, I don't think there is the bug of uh, video zoom in that's a good thing like which the video crop I hate the fact but that fact or fact is not actually in here and uh, that's quite good that's really good over and all the camera quality turned out to be good but for FPC sensors this ROM is not at all recommended for Goodix uh, sensors you, you may try it for a day or two but there are instability issues Volti calling um, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't I'm really not very happy with it either on so I'm using my Geo 4G and let's see what happens you can see that it's not working uh, a lot of people have said that Volti calling does work a lot of people have said that Volti calling does not work that's completely uh, up to the people uh, so I'm again telling you I'm, I'm not at all recommending it to anyone because uh, you are like my brother so why should I recommend it and guys there are other ROMs in the description box below in our channel as well for Redmi 4 there are good ROMs uh, you can easily check that I believe uh, it will be great for uh, you so this is all more, more or less for today yes you have to select the sim by yourself and even after that still the calling does not work I hope you can see that yes it's getting ended but the 4G is there I tried APN method guys I tried APN method but it does not work uh, no matter whatever you do the still the same thing I tried my I tried the APN method later on it still does not work uh, the, uh, yes you need to use the Geo 4G voice for the call to happen this is all for today guys I hope you love this video <laughs> yes still not recommended though like this video if you loved it, put it down if you disliked it, subscribe to our channel, other videos will be in the description, make sure you check that. Till then, bye, bye, have a great day, hope you see my next video. Bye bye now.